These are the sort of paintings you'd expect the U.S. Army to have in its vast art collection, artwork often commissioned by the military itself to record the U.S. war experience abroad. However, just a few steps away, the subject matter transforms. One of the main pr issues with this particular piece is that you look at the skull and crossbones and you look at that individual's collar badge, that signifies the SS. It's a very direct message uh, glorifying the SS. This piece is one of 456 German works held at a U.S. Army base just outside Washington, D.C., under the terms of the Potsdam Agreement on German denazification that followed the war. Under the agreement, paintings weren't returned if they were deemed overt propaganda, contained swastikas or other Nazi insignia, or depicted Nazi leaders. The argument is that this work has lost its artistic privileges because of its subject matter and message. Curtin contrasts art commissioned by the Nazis with that commissioned by the U.S. for mass consumption during the war. That is not what you're seeing in the painting of the G.I.s on, on below. The scene of the, the American B-17 coming in, it engines on fire, it's firing flares. They indicate that there is wounded on board. For U.S. authorities, the championing of artistic freedom was the propaganda message, not the specific work, a strategy that continued into the Cold War. For the Allies, I think it was important to show that the difference between these regimes, what they stood for. The U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum has organized exhibitions of Nazi art, and some forms part of its permanent collection. Seen within the context of the horror of Nazism, the museum's curator says such work retains some value. It's important for these objects to be preserved and available for display in the proper circumstances. You have to look at the consequences that caused the deaths of 55 million people. When you look at this artwork, you have to examine what role does it play. Nonetheless, German authorities in the U.S. don't seem too concerned about getting any of it back. When contacted about the collection, the German embassy in Washington declined to comment. The official consensus appears to be that this cache of historical artifacts should remain locked up in a Virginia warehouse. She had Al Jazeera, Virginia.